big sale, big savings at oldtimeradiodvd.com. All of our collections, the prices have been slashed. Pricing will be good until January the 1st, 2018, so don't wait. Buy today and enjoy for a lifetime at oldtimeradiodvd.com. You'll be glad you did. Ghost Corps. Knives of El Melik, a story of freelance diplomacy, intrigue, and mystery in the Far East. K.C. Smith, a member of the mystery-shrouded Ghost Corps, has been sent to Aswan to secure information relative to a projected uprising among the desert Arab tribes under the leadership of Melik Pasha. K.C. learns from Ali, his Arab assistant, of a certain coffee house in the native quarter which Ali believes to be the secret rendezvous of the Arab leaders. Ali further acquaints Casey with the fact that Amira, a native Shatzadi or princess, in the guise of a dancing girl, acts as contact between the desert tribesmen and their leader, Melik Pasha. Hoping to learn the hiding place of the wily Pasha, and if possible to contact Amira, Casey and Ali, disguised as Wadi Fareg Arabs, make their way after nightfall through the dark streets of Aswan's native quarter toward the coffee house. As they enter a dimly lit narrow lane near their goal, they're suddenly attacked by a banoosed, shadowy figure. <laughs> Back to the wall, Ali. Look out for those knives. In, in, close, my brothers. Let my friend dig deep the room is blood. There is one who will not again see the light of day. And there's another. The odds are even, Ali. Allah, oh. the dog run. Well, don't let him get away. After him. I'll take care of this one. <laughs> Damn you, rat of the gutter, I have you. Stand still or I'll choke the life out of my heart. Oh, my throat, defend me. Reach me. I shall tell the all. See that thou dost. And the truth. Oh, by Allah, I'll leave thee with these other two for the dogs. I do but follow the orders of El Malik, my master. So? Have you got Pashas here in us, one, is he? Nay, nay, offend thee. He rests in his tent in the oasis of Kundak. Yeah, he knows I am in us, one. Well, come on, speak up. None know thy presence here, save we four. And those two are dead. As those shall be. Oh, oh, you would try to knife me, would you? Oh, All right, brother, you asked for it. Here. Oh, may Allah curse thee, Christian dog. Thou hast killed. Oh, ah, ah, too bad. Cutty, are you safe? Eh, not a scratch, Ali. While this fellow talked, he tried to knife me. I twisted his arm and he knifed himself. But the one you followed, where's he? Uh, he was fleet of foot. The dog escaped me. May Shaitan, his father, strike him dead. No, oh, well, never mind him. He's probably going to carry the news to where it'll do the most harm. Come on, let's get out of here before we have the police on our necks. Uh, we return to headquarters and... No, we're going to that coffee house. But you will risk recognition after this? The dog who escaped me will have made What's known the... What's the difference? What's the difference? Recognition tonight or tomorrow night, Ali. And maybe we can beat the fellow to the punch by getting to the rendezvous first. How far is it? There, Tussie. The place with lighted windows just ahead. That is the coffee house of Yakub. Right. Let's go. Remember now, Ali. I'm Ben Fareg. 
son of El Bokra of the Wadi Farex. <laughs> Tough looking place, Ali. But go on, I'll follow. And may Allah smile upon us now. Welcome, brother. My humble house is yours. Will the present sit and be served? The present Ben Paré comes to view our mirror, the new dancer. See that he has the best your house of more. Hearing is obeying. Give place! Make room, me sons of Shaitan! The present Ibn Ben Paré honors the house of Yaqub with his coming. I lead the way, my lord. We follow, Yaqub. The dancer, Ali. Where is she? Presently, Ya Sheikh. Presently. You will see then if I have spoken truly as to the grace and beauty of Amira. Amira! There, Ya Sheikh. Entering from the stage door. Amira, the dancer. Baker was right. It's old Ibram's daughter. Have a care, Kasi. I watch our every move. Did I not speak truth when I said this woman was beautiful, O oh master? And does she not dance divinely? Ah, oh, thy words were but half-truths, friend. She is a creature from paradise. Ah, that such a one might grace my own unworthy tent. How will I let her know I want to speak to her? Raise two fingers of your right hand against your beard. She has seen your gesture, Kasi. Yes? How does she answer? She leaves the stage now. Another will take her place. And if I mistake not, we will presently be summoned into her presence. Well, that tall Beshawan with whom she talked, he's coming toward us. Who's he? Suleiman, her bodyguard. He will lead us to her. Right. Come up. Here he comes. Peasant awaits the old leader of the faithful. Lead on, friend. We follow. Keep your hand near your knife, Ali. You're going to see that inner room you told me about. Come on. I am ready, Kasi. Enter, my lord. Thou art in the presence, Yashay. May Allah smile upon thee, Amira. Peace and prayer be upon thee, O lady. And with ye, health and Allah's blessing. Come closer, Ben Fare. Ben Fare. Thy voice, Ya Sheikh, hath a strangely familiar. Leave me with these two, Suleiman. Remain before the door and permit none to enter. Hearing is obeying, Amira. Since when, Ya Sheikh, has the Wadi Fareks become grey eyed one? Uh, it is the one cause for argument between my honored father and mother. Uh, many have marveled that the son of Ibram el Bokra should have grey eyes. Strange. Thine eyes. Thy voice. But say, Ben Fare, dost know the desert city of Kebia Lak? Kebia Lak is many days travel from Aswan. Yet it seems that some three years back, a gray eyed stranger, an American. The presence must be mistaken. I am Ben Fare. Oh, I cannot be mistaken. The gray eyes, that voice. You are. He who came with you, may he be trusted? With your life and mine, Amira. Oh, then, you are not Ben Pare. Oh, I am certain now. You are Cassie Smith, the good friend of my people. Cassie Smith, who three years ago saved me from the Lille Effendi at Kebia Lac and restored me to my father. Oh, my friend, your disguise, perfect as it is, could not deceive Amira. <laughs> well, and suppose I am... Casey Smith. May Allah protect you then. You are in grave danger here. Mm. Leave that to Ali and me. But you, what are you doing here? I am the slave of Malik Pasha. And I'm forced by him to act as his representative here in Aswan in the guise of a dancer. So, how did you get here? While traveling from Burem to Kufra with my father, our caravan was attacked by Mugrabi raiders. My father was killed. The rest of our caravan was either killed or captured. I was brought to Egypt and sold to Malik Pasha. The story you heard in Burem was right then, Ali. Aye, Kasi. But your father isn't dead, Amira. My father, not dead. Oh, you, you are sure of what you say, Kasi? Positive. 
I haven't seen him since that time three years ago. But I've heard of him often, indirectly. He's alive and well. <laughs> I understand now why he rides the desert with a chosen band of fighters. The Tessalots were said to have turned raiders. Oh, Allah be praised. He searches for me in the desert. My father and people are not raiders, Kasi. Oh, I know that. How long have you been here? Almost a year. Malik Pasha claims to have interviewed the desert oracle woman who has prophesied that a Shatsadi in the guise of a dancer would act for him in bringing about the success of his great hope, the Jihad. Why doesn't Malik Pasha act for himself? Because of the watchfulness of the British, who know but cannot prove that he is smuggling weapons. Oh, yes, yes. Well, we'll talk about that later. But you, are you being watched? Closely. Even Suleiman is suspected. Suleiman? A Beshuin. And you trust him? Oh, yes, Kasi. He is a Beshuin. But Malik Pasha had Suleiman's only son put to death for a fancied offense. And for that, Suleiman has sworn vengeance. There is evil here, Amira. These two who say they have come from the desert are imposters. What say you, Suleiman? Who are these men? Who oh, they are friends who must be protected. My word is law, Shatsadi Amira. But then they are in grave danger. There is one without who claims to have come but a moment since from Sheikh Ibrahim el Bokra. Oh, Allah be merciful. They will kill you, Kasi. Oh, don't worry about me, Amira. Ali and I can take care of ourselves. Suleiman, Amira says you may be trusted. Would you ride with her to Kufra and temporarily forget your oath of vengeance against El Malik? I would, Yashik. It is many days' travel to Kufra, Kasi, and we have no horses. Malik Pasha has many, and fleet ones, quartered near here. Hmm. Can you get three and hold them, Suleiman? Well, let's see. Where could you hold them? Is there no other way out of here than through the coffee house? That door in the rear wall, where does it lead? To the quarters of Malik Pasha. What? El Malik's here? I understood he was basking somewhere in the desert sun. Uh, is there a way through his quarters? A door opening from his chamber into a rear court and turns into a rear street. Right. Suleiman, bring three horses ready saddled to that rear street and hold them there till we join you. Can you do that? It may be done, Yashay. But... Only three mounts, Kasi. We are four. Three uh... are enough. Three are enough, Ali. I'm not leaving us one yet. Suleiman, bring in that Wadi Farag. Oh, you will confront this messenger, Kasi. Our one chance is the element of surprise. And I have a sweet surprise in store for that gentleman. <laughs> bring him in, Suleiman. And when you take him out, get those horses. Harkening is obeying. Ali, sit over there beside the door in the rear wall. In case of trouble, we'll get out that way. Amira, both of you, take your cues from me. But how are you... Only three horses... No Kasi. time for explanations now, Ali. You heard my orders to Suleiman. The third mounts Amira's. I'm not leaving us one until after a... This is he, Amira, who claims to have come as a messenger from El Bokra. By the prophet Muhammad, this man is not Ben Farag. Ah, who should know better than I? Or am I not Ben Farag myself? The spawn of shaitan is an imposter. A spy! Death to him! Yeah. 